Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. We're making history. We are the future and we can do this. Yeah. Roughly 100 people gathered at the Frisco Historic Park today for a pro-choice rally hosted by three Summit High seniors, including Zoe Gallup. Unfortunately, we did have to come together today because we are getting our rights taken away. And it's not just this, this is a start of something big and we need to stop it before it gets any worse. The crowd spanned generations, carrying signs reading, girls just want to have fundamental rights and women's rights are human rights. Senior Sophia Chupala. This ruling was based on beliefs that caused females' reproductive parts to have fewer rights than firearms. The rally joins hundreds of others held nationwide, sparked by a recent Supreme Court ruling which abolished Roe v. Wade and led to new abortion bans in some states. Rally attendee Milo. Roe v. Wade was about the ability to have privacy, the right to privacy to do what you can with your body. And so for us to immediately look at that and just think it means abortion, it doesn't just mean abortion. For a lot of people, it means different kinds of health care. Abortion is still protected in Colorado. The crowd was predominantly women. Just one man got in front. From womb until tomb, life should be protected. Event organizer Gallup thanked the unnamed man while reminding him that his right to speak freely is as fundamental as a woman's right to reproductive freedom. The massive Salute to USA celebration in Avon returns this Sunday, July 3rd, but with a new main attraction. 9.45, we're having a state-of-the-art graphic and laser beam show. Avon's Danita Dempsey says the graphics will be displayed on the hills surrounding Nottingham Park. It's going to encompass all Nottingham Park, over the lake, over the main athletic field where the venue is, an amazing laser beam and graphic show. Dempsey says an atmospheric haze in the park will enhance the show as in fog machines. So that the beams have something to bounce off of in the park. Jam Band Galactic performs for free just before the light and graphic show in the park. Summit Rescue Group is preaching the three T's this holiday weekend. Anna D. Batiste with the first T, trip plan. Tell somebody where you're going, what route you're taking, what time you plan to be back, where your car is going to be parked. The second T is training, as in physical conditioning which applies to all members of your party. If you're taking your dog with you, make sure they've worked their way up to the length and difficulty of that hike. Don't take them on a 14 or the first time they ever go hiking. The third T stands for the 10 essentials. Extra clothing, water, food, navigation tools, sun protection, some kind of shelter, a first aid kit, some kind of repair kit for whatever gear you might have, and anything that's specific to the sport that you're doing. And a fourth T could be technology. Do not rely on it in the woods. Cell reception is spotty and battery life is limited. Put your phone into airplane mode before leaving the trailhead. Local fire danger remains moderate today with no fire restrictions in Summit. Campfires are allowed through Tuesday pending any changes. Fires are allowed with a permit. Call your landlord or local fire department for info. In sports, the Rockies open a weekend series with the Diamondbacks today at 610. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos. At their new location on Airport Road, tomorrow's the Dina Fit Hill Climb at Vail Mountain, and you can still sign up on site. Registration's open at vailrec.com. Get your details. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.